morning all of you beautiful people out there I am so thankful to have you guys in our lives I mean I was watching a couple of videos yesterday on YouTube and one of them happened to be the Knife Knolls with Austin and he, some of the stuff he's going through right now he was talking about they don't really have any friends in real life you know it's like they're they feel like they're they're in their house a lot they're not doing a lot of things they're they're missing out on things and they have some big things coming up soon but it it, it brought back memories to when we moved to Dallas uh, we'd always lived here in Houston and all of our friends and family were here and then we decided that we were moving to Dallas for family reasons there was other things going on but we decided to move to Dallas and that feeling of being depressed and not having friends around it, it's a real thing I mean if as you get older it gets it's really hard to make true friendships um, most of the time people make friends with people that they work with or co-workers or whatever or they continue to be friends with their with their schoolmates that they had growing up now if you move to a new area you don't have those schoolmates so you have to make friendships outside of what your normal which what, what your comfort zone is and that's really hard you can go to like clubs and stuff but that's you're not really gonna make true friendships you can go to church and other organizational type things and and those that's probably the best bet um, but if you're not doing all that stuff it is super hard to make friendships as you get older so I totally felt it I understood exactly where Austin was coming from some people might not have gotten it but I mean it, it's real that, that feeling because we did the exact same thing that's that's one of the main reasons that we moved back to Houston was because we missed all of our friends um, but yeah everybody go over to the Knife Knolls and leave some encouragement to Austin and Britt and tell them tell them that it's okay they can have internet friends you know because internet friends are pretty cool too you guys have helped me through a lot of stuff um, you, and even if you're not really doing something to physically help me through something just knowing that I'm talking through things with you guys um, so things that are really bothering me um, well I guess I, I can't say that because I haven't talked about the other issue that I brought up the other night but the majority of stuff that I have running through my head, and if I put it out on video, I can see it from another perspective because I watch I watch it at a different time, and I can see and I can be like, I should have done this or I should be doing this, and it's very helpful. It's like having a diary, but it's a video diary, and I'm allowing everybody to read my diary. You know, that's basically what's going on here. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing. Thursday because that's what day you're watching this. Good afternoon guys. Guess what I'm doing? You guys could never guess. That's right. I am decorating cakes today. I've already covered this one in fondant and this one, but I still need to cover that one. I am working on a three-tier Halloween cake, but I'm about to run in the store because that one that is not covered in fondant needs to be black and I didn't realize until today that I'm running low on my black gel coloring so I'm about to run to Hobby Lobby to do that um but it feels good to be crossing things off my list I think I showed you guys my whiteboard this week the boys have uh, decorated it for me <laughs> but look Wednesday which that's the day it is for me and I'm crossing things off I still have more to do but I did everything on Monday, everything on Tuesday. So far, I am on schedule. Knock on wood, hopefully it stays that way. But I wanted to show you guys, oh, let me show you what my whiteboard said first, because it was funny. Eric was looking at my whiteboard last night, and when it says right here, make babies and pumpkins, Eric got real excited. <laughs> I'm like, not me and you make babies. I have to make babies out of fondant. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see because they're wrapped up. But there's my two babies. It's to go on a Halloween baby shower cake. What do you guys think? Are they cute? I know a lot of you guys are very supportive and enjoy seeing my cakes that I make. And I thank you guys for that so much. Um, but we have had a couple of people that say they're tired of hearing me talk about cakes and seeing my cakes, which I'm sorry for those who don't like to see it, but this is my new life now that I have started my own cake business. So, but I can tell you this, 
this will be the last weekend that I am going to take on this mini cakes. I am definitely learning a lesson. <laughs> I have, I think, total orders of seven orders starting with Monday through Sunday of this week and it is kicking my butt. So hopefully this will be my, I say that because I have a hard time saying no, but I'm going to try to not take on so many orders anymore so that hopefully I have more to talk about than cakes. I am driving Amy's van, which means I am holding the camera. Don't get mad at me. I'm only gonna film for just a minute to let you guys know that we are on our way to where, Jacob? Uh, pitching. Pitching lessons with Coach Mike and then we're gonna go to actual baseball practice. So we're gonna be out of the house for a little while. I'm gonna do my best as I, as I rewind. I'm gonna do the best that I can to get as much footage as I can, but it'll probably most of it probably won't be worthwhile since I'm gonna be helping out with practice. I'll be able to get some of it in the pitching lesson, but the practice will be a little harder to get since I'm out there actually helping the kids. You ready for this, dude? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Oh yeah, one more thing. I forgot to tell you. We don't pay Coach Mike in money. We pay him in cupcakes. <laughs> Would you work for cupcakes? Huh? Would you? No. Well, Jacob won't. I think I might though, because I like Amy's cupcakes. Is that how you walk now? Uh, weirdo. <laughs> you ready to get some pitching lessons, homie? Yeah? Payment's right here. Now we just need to find him. Yeah, go back to the million dollar field, huh? So in case you guys didn't remember, this is the field that Mike said it's a little over a million dollars. That's insane. They have their, uh, supposedly they got their scoreboard put in too now. He was telling me about that the other day. Let's see if I can see it. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's right there straight ahead that we really can't tell at the point of the box right there. Yeah, I'm 
velocity. Yeah. Well, now is he's using his legs more. Yeah, that was definitely that was a little velocity bigger. So if you want to stand just like this, you can step. Actually, you can stand right here. Just go here. Take a step off. Turn my foot just like that. Lift. And then go. Right ahead. So we are back from practice and I just cooked an amazing dinner. You want to see what it looks like? Look at that. Boom, man. I am a good chef, aren't I, honey? You're amazing, babe. That's right. I know how to get in my car and drive to what? Uh, Payway. I cook good, don't I? You, you do amazing. That's right. So we're going to eat. Then 
Jacob is supposed to watch a little bit of baseball. Coach told all the kids he wants them to watch just a little bit of this game because it's the seventh game, seventh game of the World Series. So whoever wins, wins the entire thing. And he wanted them all just to kind of watch this, at least like maybe a half an inning or something. So. No, he's at a couple innings. No, we're going to – dude, it's uh, almost 8 o'clock at night. So we're going to watch a little bit of the baseball game. And then uh, I don't know if we're going to do anything else. I don't know if Amy needs to show you some cake stuff because she did a whole bunch of cake crap today. Yeah, cake crap. That's what I think it is. But it is uh, bringing Christmas show, money. Show them the cookies that we made when you oh. guys were gone. Yeah, because she didn't want to film anything. What is her problem? She made these amazing cookies she makes every year for Halloween. And she didn't even pick up the camera. What's up with that? You took both cameras with you. I was looking for it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess that's, <laughs> that's my fault. Sorry guys, she'll make them again sometime, I promise. Because we have a whole bunch more over here, which means she can make yeah. more of them. She makes Nutter Butter. She opens the package up and puts it on a plate. Can you do that? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Maybe there's the one who made those. Oh, okay. So here they are, right here. They're little ghosts. Yep, we know. Look at that. Oh, I like that one right there. He got cut in half or something and lost all of his eyeballs and stuff. What you doing in here? You gonna suffocate me? Plan. Ah, busted. Gotcha. No, I'm wrapping all these cakes. Wrapping cakes. You guys see these? Did she show you these? I did. Oh, you did? Okay, so never mind. I don't have to show them. <laughs> did you show them this? No. What you're gonna work on tonight? So are you gonna finish this one tonight? I have to. So this cake's gonna get finished. This is a Halloween cake, guys. How's it looking? It looks amazing! Actually, it just looks like a cake with fondant on it right now, but it will look amazing. I promise you that. You want to see her board? Have you shown them the board? Yeah. <laughs> Crap! You show them everything! I'm trying to show you some extra footage here of some other things besides all that baseball, all that amazing baseball footage we had when we went to go do the pitching lessons and, and then we had an actual practice, although I don't think I got very much footage at the practice because I'm having to help run the practice. So that didn't really work out too well. I tried, but then I realized that it wasn't going to work. Wasn't able to come. We missed you. I'm busy with cakes. We obviously. missed the camera lady. I know. Well, I already explained to them this is the last crazy busy week like this that I will have because yeah. I'm not doing this again. And I made a deal with Jacob, guys. Let me tell you about this right quick. So, when we went to the pitching lessons, they have a pitching machine in there as well. And, and mind you, there's like guys, like teenagers, like 18 year olds and stuff that use this pitching machine and they just have it set to 80 miles per hour all the time, okay? So I made Jacob a deal. I said, if next time when we go, which will probably be a couple weeks because Mike's gonna be out on his honeymoon and everything, next time we go, you get 10 pitches. If you if you stand in there, at first he was a little nervous about it. I was like, dude, weren't you watching? The, the pitches come straight down the middle every time. So as long as you're in the batter's box, you're not gonna get hit. You wear your helmet, you won't get hit. And he took a few minutes and then I started telling him the deal I was gonna make him and he was like, okay, I'll do it. So he stand in for 10 pitches, if he hits one pitch, that means it doesn't even, it just make contact with one pitch, I'll give him 10 bucks. So one of 10, just barely nick the ball. As long as it's not a bunt, he has to actually be swinging, I'll give him 10 bucks. And he was like, really? He's like, what if I hit more than that? And I was like, fine. If you hit 10 of 10, never happen. I'll give you a hundred bucks. And so he thinks he's going 10 for 10. What do you think? You think he's gonna do it? I don't think it? he's gonna make contact with one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I told him there's three options that are gonna happen, dude. Either you're gonna make 10 bucks, you're gonna make 100 bucks, or you're gonna make nothing. And I was like, what do you think you're gonna do? He's like, I'm gonna make 100 bucks, because then I'm gonna have $135. He's trying to save $1,000 up, because he wants to buy his own laptop. He wants to buy a computer. So he's saving his money, and he has 35 bucks right now, or $25 or something like that. Yeah, 25 right now. And he was like, so what do you think I'm going to do? I was like, you're probably going to end up and still have $25 after because I don't think you're going to hit one of them, dude. It's 80 miles per hour, and you're not even close to seeing that. The fastest he's ever seen is like 50 miles per hour at a, at a batting cage once. I would say 40. No, he saw, he saw 50 once. Yeah, he's, he's going to be swinging like after the ball comes, I'm sure. I think the ball's going to be in the net, and then he's going to swing. <laughs> ball's going to be in the net, and then he's going to swing. He might, he might get one because he's going to time it. I think by the eighth, eight or ninth pitch, he just might get one of them, but there's no way he's going to get 10 for 10. What do you guys think? You think he can do it? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think he's going to do. So that's it for tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the vlog was. And then also, if you're new to the channel, be sure you hit subscribe so that you can see more of this awesome family for the rest of our lives. Good night.